Yeah, let's put in uh, some lyrics to our video. First, uh, um, import your video to the project. Uh, simply hit the right mouse button and now uh, search for the video on your hard drive. I already did that. And here it is. Now simply drag and drop the content to the scene. I also did that, but I can do it again. Let's uh, delete this and again drag and drop the content to your scene like that. If you are using a 4K uh, video, um, then please do not use the HD version and choose uh, the 4K version. All right. And uh, after that, uh, make sure that you also drag and drop the music to um, your um, yeah to the project. I mean, if uh, in case your video already uh, contains the music, then you can just simply ignore this step. All right, um, and now let's make sure that our edit mode is uh, on. Uh, you can check that by, yeah, by unchecking the box. Then you can see that we now have uh, the full effect control. And uh, now, but we want to have the opposite. We want to work without the effects. And because of that, turn that checkbox on. All right, and now it's uh, so much easier to work with the different text um, lines. Okay, let's see. Um, with, uh, now we, let's listen to the music and to the words. And uh, yeah, let's start to uh, build our um, first sentences, so to speak. one line only for each phrase, so to speak. So, let's check that. Okay, he would, uh, he would start our second line, I think. So, go to this um, folder and choose the second uh, text. Okay sure to position position it correctly. Let's close these and let's open up the new one. Like that. Let's go back. Okay, that's good. 
but not good enough because we want to uh, yeah we reduce the speed of the animation okay I would say uh, that I want the animations to stop around this point here so for that go to this okay let, let me close these compositions so it will be much clearer. To change the timing simply click once and then you can you are in the the timing in the edit timing setup uh, and in here you can see that we have an in and in animation and an out animation. Okay and because the singer is um, yeah he's singing this sentence very slow at the end we want to change the timing for that. Uh, so let's uh, make the in animation a little bit longer. Let's save two seconds. And right after that, there will be the out animation. Okay, that's all you need to do. Now let's recheck our timing. Yeah, that's nice. Maybe it starts a little bit too late. So for that, drag it to the left. Okay, and now I want the text, uh, or the, I want the out animation at this point, let's see. Around this point maybe. Again, one, click once. And now let's uh, change the anima in animation uh, a little bit. So, uh, and drag the out animation now to here. Let's see. Okay, and I think it's uh, we are quite there. Wait. I think. Wait, the other animation should appear a little bit earlier, like that. Yeah, that's nice. That would be a timing that I I like. And now I also want to make sure that the first text should um, the out animation of the first text should start around this point here. So for that, shift this one here. To the right. Oh no, After Effects, After Effects is doing the autosave, which is great. All right, uh, let's see. Yeah, this is the timing I would go with. Great, and yeah, that's all you need to do. This is uh, the way you are working. Uh, your way through the whole text. Of course you can also uh, um, put in some um, elements if you like. Let's see. Um, let's see if we... If um, let's see what which of the elements uh, would fit in here. Um, maybe the sunglasses, I don't know. It's just for the demo. <laughs> All right, let's see. Here's our guy. Okay, maybe it would be funny to have uh, to have him wear the, the sunglasses uh, at this point. I don't know, it's just an idea. Okay. Okay. I, I do not know if this really makes sense. And you, you can also uh, 
change the position, of course. Maybe because of the sunglasses, uh, we want to change the position a little bit. Uh, so let's check. All right, and here at this point our new uh, line would start. So again, let's choose another text style for this. Um, okay, here we have our second uh, style. Let's uh, place it above uh, the layers so that it's more clear to us what is uh, happening. Let's see. Okay, here at this point he is singing and here we are. Oh, and here we are. Okay, let's check. Okay, that's nice. Um, again. Place another one. Okay. Let's close these down again. Okay, let's check. Okay. Okay, uh, I mean I could continue this uh, with this, uh, um, but I think uh, that the workflow is uh, much, uh, or that the workflow is clear now. And uh, yeah, this this is all you need to do. You just have to listen to the music. Um, you can also work with these markers here. Uh, let's okay. Let's do another one with markers. Okay, and uh, this would be working with markers. Simply drag one marker to this point. Okay, I think around this point here is our second line. And uh, okay, uh, let's work with style number three now. Okay, here is style number three. Oh my god, this sounds so zombie-like. <laughs> I look around. Okay, let's type this. I look around. Okay. And now let's put in some new line. Okay, this is 
good enough for the demo to yeah to show you how this all works. All right. Okay, maybe I want to hold uh, the um, the first sentence a little bit longer. Okay, that the out animation of the first text also starts around this point here, where our second uh, line disappears. So for that, again, uh, click once so the timing appears, and simply drag the out animation to this um, area here, drag it, drag it around, and so you can see where, yeah, where it kind of, uh, where, where the, kind of the beginning is or starts. Okay, like that. Let's see. Yeah, that's nice. All right. <laughs> again, our zombie voice is singing again. Yeah, that's nice. All right. Uh, yeah, this is all you need to do. And uh, yeah, to cha change uh, the colors, um, I will do and um, yeah, you will find this um, content in another or in our next tutorial. So it will be easier for you to find uh, later on. All right. Okay, so now let's uh, have a look at our customization. Uh, so let's say you are completely uh, finished with uh, yeah, implementing your text and now you want to finalize everything. Uh, and now you will have a look at the video and the text and how you can uh, color everything. All right, uh, so again, go to the control layer and uh, now uncheck this box so that we can see all the effects and uh, and because of that now, um, yeah, um, the performance uh, will be much slower when we doing a preview. Uh, and this is the reason why we uh, build this edit mode, uh, because now you can uh, con concentrate on coloring because everything is um, fine. The timing fits. Everything is set up completely. And now you can, yeah, uh, you can only the only concern that is left is the design and the coloring. All right, so um, let's start with our first composition. Uh, again, click and click until you get to this control layer. And with the help of the control layer, you can now, um, yeah, choose the, your, your colors and you can choose one of the six presets we have. Okay, uh, let's see. Um, if you turn off uh, the preset, we have a uh, we have, um, let's call it a general animation that will appear, which also looks um, interesting. Uh, uh, this was uh, the first one we just deactivated mm, se seconds ago, was the first one. Then we have the second one. And this is more of a digital um, glitch effect, so to speak. Um, but uh, our um, template also contains six previews where you can, um, yeah, where you can have a, a quick look at and where you can see the differences between these different um, presets. But again, I will just um, click them through so that you have uh, a glimpse how this effect looks. Okay, here we all again have kind of a um, circlish effect. Here it's again more digital. And finally we have the preset number six. But it will, it will be more clear if you have a look at the six uh, different uh, preview animations for this, uh, for the, for the, um, presets <laughs> that come uh, comes with the project. All right, so let's concentrate. Let's say we will use the second one here. And uh, now um, you can change the coloring. Uh, so let's change that maybe to, to blue. 
And there we go, we have now we have a bluish color here. And let's say we want to have some kind of a bluish gradient coloring in the background. And this is all you need to do to um, yeah to get this effect. And of course, if you also want to um, change uh, the color of, uh, of the root text, this is the text or this is the color that we will see till the, ver till the very end, then uh, make sure that you go to the uh, root of the text and in here you can now choose another color. Uh, it's the typical workflow for editing text. Uh, let's go back and in here we can now see for our basic text we have the color red and uh, the color behind the red color is blue or, or some bluish colors with a gradient. Uh, yeah, and this is how you can change the colors. All right, uh, you can ignore um, these settings here. Um, yeah, um, yeah, please ignore them. All right. Okay. All right, so thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you have questions or problems, uh, please write us an email to support, come on, <laughs> to support at snowcakestudios.com and uh, we will get back to you within one business day. All right, so uh, thank you so much. Uh, stay safe, take care, bye.